this preview, we're going to fly the 10th leg of the Pacific Northwest series of flights. This one's pretty short. It's just a 36-mile jaunt between Bella Coola and Houston Airstrip. As I think I've mentioned before, airfields are pretty few and far between, so we're just trying to get a little closer to Hartley Seaplane Base, I believe is the, the next one after Houston Airstrip. So just to make that leg a little bit shorter, we've added a, a short leg here between Bella Coola and Houston. You'll notice we're flying still flying the x cub with floats there's really no reason no no necessity to fly floats here these are our two hard airstrips but the previous leg landed uh took off from night inlet and landed at bella coola and i believe the next leg is houston airstrip to hartley seaplane base so if you want to change the aircraft pick anything you want obviously pick something that has short takeoff and landing capabilities Bella Coola is a reasonably sized airport, but I believe Houston Airstrip is just a tiny little airfield. Oh, no, I mean, it's a fairly substantial runway, but use your own judgment. So let's go ahead and fly it. All right, so we're at Bella Coola. As I mentioned, I'm in the X-Cub with floats, although the floats aren't necessary for this leg, but let's go ahead and take off. As always, these flights are free for everyone. Just go to simflightplan.com slash downloads. All of the flight plans there are free and available to fly for anyone with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just load it up in World Map and off you go. So the flight path goes right over the peak there, but obviously you don't have to do that. Uh, in fact, unless you circle, you're not going to do that. So rather than circling the airfield a bunch at Bella Coola, I've flown around the peak next to the airfield, and now I'm using the terrain map to pick my way through the peaks until I get to about 8,500 feet clear Mount Saunders. So I've got a ways to go. So I'm just going to pick my way through the peaks using the terrain on the map. All right, and that's the peak of Mount Saunders, which we're supposed to be at 8,500. I'm closer to 7,500. So as you can see, it's not imperative to climb all the way to 8,500. A couple things about the X-Cub too, just little reminders, you know, obviously with floats, we're not using the floats, but they still add drag and weight to the X-Cub, so still a good climber, but you know, not as good as, as the X-Cub with wheels. Also, don't forget to adjust your mixture as you climb, because we went all the way from zero to 8,000 feet right out of Bella Coola, so you will need to adjust your, or you should at least, adjust your mixture as you climb, clean it out for the thinner air. Alright, so we're passing over Cyrillic Peak, I assume how that's pronounced and I believe that's our only other waypoint before the airport so I suspect we're going to want to descend down one of these valleys pretty smartly I think Houston Airstrip is probably down down in this valley over here we'll find out we're changing course yeah, so we have 10 miles and we've got to shed 8,000 feet. So we're going to start following the valleys down. This is probably a good time to go ahead and take a look at the airstrip. Oh, so I'm practically over it. I'm going to have to loop back around and come in. We'll just continue to follow the, the lake here or inlet, I'm not sure which this is, and we'll come in from the north. Way too late to get down there now, I'm pretty sure. There it is, but I'm still at almost 4,000 feet, so I'll go ahead and make a right-hand approach there. Give myself time to slow down and lose some more altitude.
All right, and this is Houston Field, I think. Houston Airstrip. As I mentioned, this is just a sort of an interim flight. There's plenty of uh, mountains and glaciers off the beaten track if you want to do some exploration yourself. But this leg was just to get us in position for our next leg, which is Hartley Air Base, without that leg being too long. We tried to keep them all under 100 nautical miles. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Remember, all of these flight plans are free for everyone to download and fly at simflightplan.com slash downloads. This one and all the rest of the Pacific Northwest series are, will be up on the website, and I'll put the link in the description box. Thank you very much.